Having finished the preliminaries, we head to our main goal, understanding what it means in general for one specification to implement another, and how we can check that it does. We will take a rather long path, and it may not always be clear where it's leading, but just follow it step by step. The destination is worth the effort. The AB2 protocol doesn't just implement the high-level spec of module AB spec. It actually implements the AB protocol, where an AB protocol step that loses a message is implemented by the AB2 protocol step that corrupts the message. Most programmers will find this confusing. They don't think of losing a message as a step of the AB protocol, but rather as a step taken by the environment in which the protocol is executed. Our specifications say nothing about who performs what steps. We think that in the AB protocol spec, sender A performs A send and A receive steps, receiver B performs B send and B receive steps, and the communication infrastructure performs lose message steps. But that's just an interpretation that we put on the spec suggested by the way we write the next state action as the disjunction of subactions. It would be easy to make the spec suggest a different interpretation. For example, by decomposing the next state action to suggest that A and B both send messages and cause the messages to be lost. The AB2 protocol implements the AB protocol, where corrupt message steps implement lose message steps. Our goal now is to convince ourselves that this is true. Reaching it requires answering two questions. The first is, what does it mean? And the second is, how do we check it? First, exactly what does this mean? It means that for every behavior of the AB2 protocol, we can obtain a behavior of the AB protocol by changing the state as shown in the following example. For this state in a behavior of AB2, here's how we get the corresponding state in a behavior of AB. The values of AVAR and BVAR are the same. We obtain the sequence of messages A to B from the sequence of messages A to B2 by deleting the bad messages. And we do the same thing to obtain the sequence of messages B to A from the sequence of messages B to A2. AB2 implements AB means that this transformation of states of the AB2 protocol to states of the AB protocol transforms a behavior of the AB2 protocol to a behavior of the AB protocol. To show this implementation, we first transform states of the AB2 protocol to produce behaviors satisfying a new specification, spec H. We obtain a state of spec H by starting with a state of AB2 and then adding the values of the variables A to B and B to A from the state of AB. The AB2 protocol implements the AB protocol if and only if every behavior allowed by formula spec H is a behavior of the AB protocol. This condition is expressed by the theorem that formula spec H implies formula spec of module AB. This answers our first question, what does it mean for AB2 to implement AB? We now answer the second question, how do we check it? To do this, we first actually write the formula spec H in TLA+. A behavior should satisfy spec H if and only if the following conditions hold. First, the values of the four variables of the AB2 spec should satisfy that spec. Second, in every state of the behavior, a to B should equal the sequence obtained from A to B2 by removing corrupted messages. And B to A should equal the sequence obtained from B to A2 by removing corrupted messages. So, spec H should be the conjunction of two formulas. The first formula, which expresses this condition, 
is just formula spec of module AB2. The second formula asserts that something is true in every state, which is expressed by the temporal operator always. The condition satisfied by every state is the conjunction of these two conditions. So here's what spec H should equal. So the definition of spec H should look like this. We define spec H in another module called AB2H. Stop the video and download that module now. We start by writing this conjunct. To permit module AB2H to import formula spec from module AB2, AB2H begins by extending the same modules and declaring the same constants and variables as module AB2. The module next imports the definitions from module AB2 with this instance statement. This imports formula spec of module AB2 as AB2 bang spec. To write this part of the definition of spec H, the module has to declare the variables A to B and B to A. To write this part of the definition, the module next defines the operator remove bad, so that remove bad of seek is the sequence obtained by removing elements equal to bad from sequence seek. The definition, of course, is almost identical to the recursive definition of remove x in part one of this lecture. It begins with a recursive declaration. It then defines remove bad of seek to be, if seek is the empty sequence, then the empty sequence. Else, if the head of seek equals bad, then remove bad of the tail of seek. Else, the sequence obtained by prepending the head of seek to the front of remove bad of the tail of seek. We can use it to replace these pseudo expressions with real expressions. This completes the definition of spec H, which comes next in the module. A to B and B to A are imaginary variables added to AB2 bang spec to show that it implements the AB protocol spec. They are not meant to be implemented by the AB2 protocol. If we ignore the values of A to B and B to A, then spec H and AB2 bang spec allow the same behaviors. Remember that our goal is to check this theorem, which asserts that the AB2 protocol implements the AB protocol. But first, we have to write it in TLA+. We just defined spec H in module AB2H. We now have to write formula spec of module AB in module AB2H. But that's easy. We just add this instance statement to module AB2H, which defines AB bang spec to be this formula. TLC can't check this theorem because spec H doesn't have the standard form for a TLA plus safety spec, which has an initial state formula and a next state action. We could solve this problem by rewriting spec H. This is done in module AB2H by defining a specification spec HH that TLC can handle and is equivalent to spec H. You can read module AB2H to see how it's done. Here, I'll take a longer approach that leads to greater insight into implementation. This is where we are in module AB2H. By the temporal substitution rule, this always formula implies that AB bank spec equals AB bank spec with this substitution. And since spec H implies the always formula, it also implies this equality. Therefore, this theorem is equivalent to the theorem we get by replacing AB bang spec by AB bang spec with the substitutions. Since this formula is obtained by substituting for A to B and B to A, it does not contain those two variables. Hence, in the theorem, this always conjunct of spec H is irrelevant. 
So we can replace spec h in the theorem by just this conjunct to get this equivalent theorem. So we can replace the theorem we want to prove by this one. And we can just check this theorem. First, notice that spec h doesn't appear in the theorem anymore, so we don't need to define it. The instance statement and the theorem are in module AB2H. Let's move them to module AB2. When we do that, the formula called AB2 bang spec in module AB2H is simply called spec. Inside module AB2, spec is an ordinary specification that TLC can handle. But this with formula is just a notation that I'm using here. It's not legal TLA+. To see how to write it in TLA+, we need to examine the instance statement. After expanding all definitions, formula spec of module AB contains only TLA plus operators and the declared symbols of the module, which are the constant data and the module's four variables. To import a definition from module AB into an arbitrary module M, we must substitute expressions of module M for those symbols. This is done by a with clause, having this syntax, where these are the declared constants and variables of the instantiated module AB, and these are the expressions of the current module M to be substituted for them. When we instantiated module AB in module AB2H, for each of these declared symbols of module AB, we substituted the symbols of the same name from module AB2H. Substituting a symbol of the same name for a symbol of the instantiated module is the default if we omit a substitution for that symbol from the with clause. So we could eliminate the entire with clause from the instance statement in module AB2H. In module AB2, we want the default substitutions for data, AVAR, and BVAR, so we can omit them from the with clause. The symbols A to B and B to A are not declared in module AB2, so we need to substitute for them some expressions we can write in AB2. If you remember how we got to this point, you should be able to guess that we're going to substitute these expressions for them after adding the definition of remove bad to module AB2. Recall that we were trying to check this theorem and we faced the problem that this isn't a TLA plus formula. But this non-TLA plus formula can now be written simply as AB bang spec because the substitutions we wanted the formula to express are performed by the instance statement. And TLC can now check this theorem. Whew. We finally reached our goal. But it took us so long, you may have forgotten why we wanted to get here. So let's review what we've accomplished. We saw that the AB2 protocol implements the AB protocol, where remove bad of A to B2 implements variable A to B of AB, and remove bad of B to A2 implements variable B to A of AB. We then saw that this means that this theorem is true, where this is the formula we called spec H. And we then saw that in module AB2, we can write an equivalent assertion as this instance statement and theorem. These substitutions are called a refinement mapping. And we say that the AB2 protocol implements the AB protocol under this refinement mapping. So that means that this theorem is true. And TLC can check the theorem by using a model with spec as the behavior specification and AB bang spec as the temporal property to be checked. In general, if a specification spec 2 does not contain all the variables of a specification spec 1, then spec 2 can implement spec 1 only under a refinement mapping that assigns expressions of spec 2 to all the variables in spec 1 that are not also in spec 2. 
This is the usual case. Even if spec 1 and spec 2 have a variable v in common, the refinement mapping might substitute an expression of spec 2 other than v for the variable v of spec 1. What does it mean for a program written in a programming language to implement a TLA plus specification spec? It means that we can, in principle, write a TLA plus specification spec program of the program, and spec program implements spec under a suitable refinement mapping. We can't do that in practice because spec program would be much too long and complicated. But understanding refinement mappings can help prevent implementation errors. Even if you can't write the refinement mapping in TLA+, you should be able to explain informally how the specs variables are implemented by the program state. The informal refinement mapping explains what the program is doing. Writing it down, perhaps as comments in the code, can expose errors in the program. We added the imaginary variables a to b good and b to a good to the ab2 protocol specification to obtain specification spec p. We did that in order to write a desired liveness property. We added imaginary variables a to b and b to a to the ab2 protocol specification to obtain specification spec h. We did that in order to show that the AB2 protocol's safety spec implements the AB protocol's safety spec. In general, a specification spec 2 is obtained by adding imaginary variables to a specification spec 1, means that spec 2 and spec 1 allow the same behaviors if we ignore the values of the imaginary variables. We added imaginary variables to show that the AB2 spec implements the AB spec. This wasn't necessary because we were able to use a refinement mapping instead. But sometimes we have to add imaginary variables in order to define a refinement mapping. The AB and AB2 protocols are essentially the same if we ignore aliveness. So specification spec of module AB should implement specification spec of module AB2 under a refinement mapping. Showing this requires adding to module AB an instance statement giving the refinement mapping and checking this theorem. These expressions of the refinement mapping must be written in terms of the variables of module AB. This is impossible without adding imaginary variables to the specification spec of module AB that remember where messages that were lost from the message sequences A to B and B to A used to be. Imaginary variables need not describe any actual state of the system. In fact, if their values can be described in terms of the original variables that describe the actual state, then the imaginary variables are unnecessary. For example, we didn't need to add imaginary variables A to B and B to A to the AB2 protocol spec in order to show that it implements the AB protocol spec, because we could specify the values of those variables of the AB spec with a refinement mapping. Imaginary variables are not meant to be implemented. And imaginary variables may be needed to construct a refinement mapping. Imaginary variables are usually called auxiliary variables. You can learn more about them by stopping the video and downloading this paper. This is the last lecture of the TLA Plus video course. You're now ready to write your own specs, including liveness conditions, and to show that one spec implements another. It may not be easy at first. Writing good specs takes practice. Reading other people's specs can help. I hope the TLA Plus web pages will eventually contain many examples of realistic specs. 
there is still plenty for you to learn about TLA Plus and its tools. There are a few TLA Plus features that you haven't seen. You can find out about them by browsing the Specifying Systems book. There are many toolbox features that I haven't shown you. You can find them by browsing the Toolbox's help pages. And there's the PlusCal algorithm language, a language for writing TLA Plus specs that look more familiar to programmers. See the TLA Plus website for documentation. This is the end of the course. You've come a long way, perhaps further than you realize. As you go forward, remember to take the time to stop and think. I hope what you've learned here will help you do that.